Alright people, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you'll know when I upload the next video and you'll be supporting my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Every time I upload a new video, I'll be tweeting. Our recent chance almost to GBX and this is a vanical review, wholesome and recent trademark while the channel sets in tech. Man chooses a Kamar obeys. You can buy it on Steam and Mega Gamer. Manga Gamer, okay. Yes, I haven't uh, uploaded as any uh, one video in past two days because I have a flu. I don't think it's Corona, right? But yeah, you can never know. Yeah, right now I shouldn't even making I shouldn't even be making this as you can hear. I'm fumbling right now. Shockwaves are uh, you know going through my head. But I'm like, what the hell? Let's just do this. Feeling good, right? Took a hot shower. So yeah, that's always fun. Remember, if you like my Rickson, don't forget to like, subscribe. So I know which type of videos to react to more. Check out the Rickson There's a link in the description. Check out the cards within cards in here. Let's watch it. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Oi, oi, mina. Sesu kokoni. Today, I'll be returning to the accursed land of Japan to play a game that was gifted to me long ago. Evanical. Published in 2015 by Alice Soft. Same guys who made one of my favorite games, Sengoku Rants. Now, the game got released on Steam with a full English translation. At first glance, I thought this was some cutesy Japanese visual novel with a lot of erotic smut thrown in there without much substance. But this time, I still and corrected. Story. You play as Aster, a man with a dream and a simple purpose to marry both of his sisters. Quite typical as anime plots go. Also, don't worry about the really? anime art style. I've done some clever substitutions to make this video more approachable by a Western audience. Enjoy. However, in this world, every human is bound by a set of divine laws devised by Holy Mother Eve herself, the creator of this world and all of its inhabitants. You can only screw one person. The person person you screw is the person you marry. If you break the sacred rules of monogamy, you get branded by the Dark Souls logo and you become an outlaw. Anything an outlaw grows will wither away and die. Any animal they tend to will get sick and die. Anything they ever create will fall apart and become useless. Because outlaws can't produce anything, they have to steal, plunder, and murder just to survive. So to avoid getting your ass cursed for the rest of your life, you gotta follow the law. This law says Sounds good on paper. In practice, it's absolutely dysfunctional and creates a social class of people that are. <clears throat> All right, uh, the function like that inside the game uh, kind of feels, you know, I guess good in a way. Uh, which game was it where you get a permanent uh, debuff? I don't, I don't remember it, but I think it was what Fallout Four, Fallout Three. I don't know. Well, you get permanent debuff if you know you make some mistake for your rest of your game. This is kind of like that. If you do something, break something, there you go. You are stuck with that ring, Dark Souls ring forever forced into criminality and have no hope of reintegrating with society. While Eve is the creator of humanity, that doesn't mean she's not completely retarded. Eve has essentially created an artificial apartheid state which defines human as anyone following her law and dehumanizes anyone who intentionally or unintentionally strays from her path. And by this I mean you can become an outlaw against your will. If you get kidnapped and forced into a struggle snuggle with your captors, guess what? You become an outlaw. Because because what? you did not participate in monogamy. And for that reason, you are cursed and damned for all eternity to carry the Dark Souls what? trademark. Essentially, your own god, your own mother, your own creator participates in victim blaming. There is, however, a tiny loophole. Becoming a knight, a defender of a realm, a paragon of- <clears throat> Okay, I think it's uh, like, well, you know, that old, I guess, Greek god type of mentality, Old Testament god type of thing, right? Uh, regardless of if you're at fault or not something happened and you are to blame type of thing like gods god are not always fair type of mentality i guess that's what's happening here virtue who is sworn to protect humanity from monsters and from people of a lower socioeconomic background. Fuck em. A knight of significant standing has incredibly strong genetics. Genetics which the goddess recommends spreading oh far and wide so that later generations can make use of their strength. Which means the higher your rank, the more wives you're allowed to have. <laughs> 
is a game about doing great deeds, crushing evil, and saving the world just so you can grow your ever-expanding harem. That's right, the ultimate goal of the Venacle is polygamy. But you know what? I played it for the story, the lore, and the backplot. And I feel not an ounce of shame saying this, because I am a red-blooded male, damn it. Anyway, you and the rest of the gang slash harem travel the world solving spooky Scooby-Doo mysteries. And that's about it. Oh yeah, also, some organization is using geopolitical tension and unrest to engineer a world war, because they believe humanity would greatly benefit from having another generation of boomers. Gameplay! Any questions? No? Yeah, I think the footage is quite self-explanatory. Quite really? obviously. There's a turn-based JRPG. You make okay. the move, you kill the monsters, you get the cash money, and you get the opportunity to level up. Because you can't just level up immediately in this game. You have to visit a telemarketing company or buy a pre-recorded level up sound from your local retailer. I'm not making this up, by the way. The Merchants Guild also makes an appearance in this game, since every merchant is either a crossdresser, a trap, or transitioning into a trap. Over time, you rank up as a knight, you spray baby batter inside another woman, and your party expands. Up to five people, by the way. But the most important question on everyone's mind, what about pregnancy? Well, don't worry about that, because in a venicle, everyone uses contraceptive magic. How that works is a mystery. A convenient mystery. You know what else is convenient? A venicle can be played entirely with one hand, which is ideal for people who've suffered a hand or wrist injury, such as myself. If you're suffering from the same affliction, I do recommend a water-based lubricant to speed up recovery. So, if you have a son, your wife's son, or a grandson, I would recommend buying them a vanicle this Christmas so they can work past their untimely disability. The game itself is quite linear, and your time will be split between combat and reading. Surprisingly, the dialogue is actually quite good. I dare say it's very entertaining. There are choices you can make during this game, but much like Western RPGs, these are false choices that don't actually make a difference. Criticism. Now, while the story and the narrative are very interesting and captivating, I must explain something to you that I cannot stress enough. This game is not for the faint of heart. I've seen some shit. I can't show you what I've seen, but through the clever use of imagery and metaphors, I can describe it to you. Because I'd like to share my traumatic experience. Think of a woman <laughs> as a bowling ball. Because, just like a bowling ball, a woman has correct. She's got three of them. Think of a man as a delivery man. What does he deliver? Sausage. But he can only deliver one at a time. The very first H scene in this game involves a bowling ball. A Mary bowling ball getting stuffed with multiple sausages without consent. However, consent or not, the fact she had multiple sausages inside her makes her an outlaw. Realizing this, she desperately tries to remove a Dark Souls logo by severing her own fingers. After being told she can't just remove From Software's trademark from her body, that it will grow back on a second finger, she begs you to remove every finger, every toe, and every digit that could possibly hold it. This same bowl bowling ball can't really catch a break, since later on, she gets stuffed all over again. The risk of pregnancy- Oh my god, how is this a game? How are things like that happening in the game? That, that's why YouTube is not showing which, uh, you know, game it is. Usually YouTube shows it, you know, below. Which game it is, which year from it, it is, I guess. But yeah. Pregnancy makes her lose composure, and she refuses to comply with a sausage delivery. Upon hearing this, one of the delivery men exits the scene and returns soon after with a kettle filled with boiling water, which he intends to use as contraceptive to sterilize her from inside out. Much later on, I actually got close to throwing up. You see, besides delivery men, monsters can also deliver sausage, but this sausage can't really fit inside a oh bowling my God. ball. So I saw a bowling ball get stretched out and broken by a monster twice their size. But that's not the end of it. I might have left out a tiny detail. Oh yeah, right. The monster was not fed for weeks. He wasn't hungry. He was starving. And I got to hear a bowling ball desperately plead, scream, and cry for her life, begging the monster to please, please, please use her instead of eating her. Just before it clamps down tighter. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
How is this a game? <laughs> on her neck, and finally... Final oh, score. Ho, ho. I give a venical and all right out of I don't know what I was expecting, so don't expect objectivity from me. It's a pretty condensed package. A compelling story, good characters, ass, titties, music, and combat that eventually does get quite challenging. Whether intentionally or not, I got a very wholesome conclusion from a venical. A game about polygamy. It convinced me that I'm perfectly happy with one woman because more than one would drive me insane. And her name is Catherine, my one and only waifu. And I'm prepared to fight all of you 1v1 on Command and Conquer Generals or Zero Hour, if you prefer, to prove my undying love. Unfortunately, Venical is still quite expensive because putting a game on sale is an alien concept to the Japanese. So if you don't feel right about the price tag or you're not sure, I would recommend trying before buying. And you can grab yourself a copy over here on my. So, what are you in for? I played non state approved anime. I told the officer she was well above the age of consent. Oh, how, how, how old was she? 357, but she had the body of a 12 year old. I tried to explain that it's because she's a half dragon sorceress. She's very powerful and mistrustful of humans, so she takes on the form of a child. Oh, yeah. And she has a huge, bulging food of cock. Does this keep happening to you? Do you wish there was a better way? Well, there is. Express. Hey, unfortunately, the sponsor didn't like the integration. However, I don't care. And I'm tearing up this contract. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. Also, I now stream on DLive every Sunday on the... Yeah, all right. <sighs> I, I came here to think like, okay, this is going to be another one of those games. Space Station 13, right? Heroes of Might and Magic. All right, something is going to be weird because it's sets in tech video. He's not going to review something that is just normal. But holy shit, all the things that you can do in this game is just ridiculous. All the things that you're allowed to do, allowed to see and hear. Ugh. Oh my god, this is just fucked up. All right, well, that was a vanical review, wholesome edition by the channel says in tech. If you liked my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the reaction. There's a link in the description. Check out the cards. Check out the cards. Yeah, I'll see you next time.